I'd love to. So, um, today I wanted to talk about things that are on my bookshelf. So, um, I am, <laughs> I have this smile plastered on my face because I am really so excited to talk about a lot of books that I like. So, um, maybe I'll like zoom you guys in in another video or something, but basically I love reading books. I mean, I guess that maybe makes sense, not really sure, but they do say it's good to read books, to know how to write books and stuff. <sighs> so yeah, it's good. Anyway, so I'm just going to review. I'm going to have like, I'll make this a mini series to just sort of like review books that I really like and that I've read and been reading through. So today I want to talk about the Shadow and Bone trilogy series. This is an incredible book. It's by Leigh Bordeaux. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. I mean, I surely hope it is. Anyway, Leigh? Le Maybe it's Leah? A? Anyway, um, so yeah, I absolutely love this book and there's an entire trilogy. So here's the first, second, and third book. So it goes Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Run and Rising. I mean, Ruin and Rising. Literally, I love this series. And okay, so there's a couple of reasons. Well, first I'll give you a quick synopsis and then I'll go into the reasons why I really like this book. So, um, this book is about the main character. Her name is Alina. And basically it's this whole thing about how she is, it's kind of like this Russian-esque kind of backdrop, but it's not based in reality because it's still more like fantasy like and whatnot um basically she's an everyday soldier and she's an orphan and then she like gets into <sighs> see i'm on the third book and i'm just like ah i've been reading this uh i read this a little while ago now basically she gets into um this ah that's how it goes so there's this horrible place called like the fold and it's super dark there like it's literally physically dark and um she goes in there and basically through a tragic event she ends up saving a bunch of people's lives but she finds out that she has this superpower of light coming out of her um so this at the top says grisha verse and that's really helpful and important because Leigh Bordeaux she by the way this is her picture she writes a whole lot of books in this Grisha verse. So she's written like, I'm pretty sure a whole other trilogy. And I think this one is like maybe the prequel to that, something like that. Um, but I haven't read the other one yet, but I really love her style of writing. Grisha are supposed to be these people that have like these, you know, magical powers and whatnot. And so she has, of course, this super helpful, you know, thing in the very front that explains Okay, these are the, the corporal key are, these are the ethereal key, and then the material key. So it's like these three classes of people. And anyway, it's just this great thing. It's kind of like a Cinderella-esque thing where it's like, you know, going from nothing to everything in some ways. Um, it's just a really fun read. I also want to say that I really love the way that she writes because there's basically this, without giving anything away, this dark suitor kind of guy and you know he's got this like bad boy aesthetic and basically she's kind of battling between liking him and he's in power and stuff like that so she's battling between liking him and liking this other guy which is like her friend from home who's never really paid attention to her before you know and she's struggling with some body image things and I just think what I love about this book and this whole series is that it talks a lot about like uniquely a lot of times like issues that have to do with like women empowerment and like a lot of like gender roles and stuff she's always struggling with things like oh how does my hair look how does my body look like how can i get guys to pay attention to me and then there's also a lot with like this power struggle of the dark suitor guy and like oh like do i need to find a way to like get him to like me and then there's this weird thing of like seduction happening and then there's also this rumor in the kingdom of like the king himself having like these like female people that like these mistresses basically and she's best friends with one of the girls who's 
been seen as this mistress so i think it's really cool because even though it's like this super fantasy world and blah 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 and it's like awesome and fun it's also gets really deep because it just gets into a lot of women's issues and things like it reminds me of like how okay women can have a harder time in the workplace sometimes if the place isn't like that equal trying women trying to find ways to be in influential spaces and it's kind of like sometimes it's like people feel this pressure of like having to sacrifice their like i don't know something about their respect just to be heard or seen and so i feel like it's really good and she you know the main character she's able to push back against a lot of those things like well, against a lot of those gender norms and like she's able to be strong and powerful and beautiful and just amazing like i don't know i just think it's a really great book and the writing style it makes me like laugh out loud sometimes like when she's being funny so um yeah i'm i guess this in this episode here <laughs> episode i'm here talking mostly about this book but the whole trilogy like i said is really amazing and i will say as well the covers are extremely beautiful like just look at the shiny it's like it's just such a masterpiece i mean look at this and these are just the paperbacks you know like these aren't even the you know the fancy schmancy you know hard covers but they're still just so beautiful so yeah i'm on the third one now and i'm getting close to finishing it up um and i guess last thoughts let's see the first book was written in what year 2012 yeah and the first book is the shortest at like 356 pages then the second i think goes to four something and the the third the same it's like they both are longer yeah and i guess like the last thing is like that's kind of infuriating but amazing in at least in this edition of the book she always puts like the first chapter of the next book in it so you're just kind of like i have to keep going yeah anyway and it just kind of teases you and you're like i have to get back to the bookstore <laughs> so anyway um yeah that's it for today in this episode but i hope you enjoy um and remember to like and subscribe um to get more content like this and yeah i'll see you next time bye